So um, it's training camp. Everybody understands that. But, uh, it's the mindset, you know, how they choose to deal with it. Really, it uh, allows them to um, you know, not not get through it, but thrive, uh, excel through it. Do you change how your practices work with a game five days away, or is that still a few days? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a natural, you know, you have to taper down. Um, this was that sort of day, uh, more of a teaching day, and we'll try and ramp it back up a little bit and then bring it back down. So um, I'm sure there's an exact science to it. This is what I feel works. I'm talking with Al and, and going through the schedule months ago, this is how we sort of planned it. You always have to adapt a little bit based on the, the guys you have available. And, weather sometimes if it gets really hot and I have to pair things down. Um, this is sort of going according to plan. Was today a focus particularly on special teams? Yeah, uh, a lighter first practice, try and get it crisp and, and, and get off and then um, more of a special teams teaching day and putting together the groups that are going to be together for uh, the first exhibition game. Um, it's just so they get to know who's beside them and, and sort of fine tooth the uh, systems we're going to use, you know, because we've been doing a ton of drill work, and a little bit of systems, this was to basically cement the systems and the, and the personnel. Hey, Kels, uh, what have you seen from Daniel Fever so far? Yep, smart, strong, good quarterback, good runner, uh, makes good decisions, picking up the playbook really well, he's exactly like we thought he'd be. What are some of the keys when you're learning a new playbook? Obviously he has experience in the league, but when he's trying to transition into a new offense? I think the biggest thing for these guys, uh, whether it's a quarterback or a receiver or defense, but whoever it is, is for them to understand how they learn best. Right? You know, they show up in camp and uh, they're presented with a, what can seem like a, a lot of information, and they've got to come in with a, a real solid knowledge of their process and how it works for them. And if they can relay that to the coach, that, that helps for sure. But uh, you know, when they when they get time off in the evenings, they've got to sit down and, and try and. Uh, go through the information in the way that's best for them. Still, kind of, still wide open who the number two guy is, my number two guy. Yeah, they're going to compete for it. What are some of the things you look for in that, uh, you know, when guys trying to establish themselves on the pecking order behind Matt? Obviously, you have a clear cut number one. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see more of it when we get them into the game, their ability to lead the offense and make plays. I mean, for, you know, there is the statement that, that production is leadership. You know, I, I, I don't. I think that's a part of it, but the number one thing these guys are going to have to do is get out in the field and lead their offense and, and um, move it down the field and score points. Drafted a young kicker, or what have you seen from him in this camp so far? Yeah, he's a, he did a great song in, the, in, the, in front of some guys. <laughs> you know, that's no, his biggest contribution no, so far? No, I said that's a, that's a memorable one. He's, he's certainly um, he's fit in quite well. When we drafted him, we really liked his directional punting, and and he's showing that he, he has real good speed, get off time. So you don't have to worry about that. A lot of times when you get kickers from the states, their get off times are too slow for them to work in this league uh, for whatever reason, you know. Um, but his his get off time is really good. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, bad things happening with that. His directional punting is excellent. Um, he's working on his field goal kicking, and it's a good thing he's here with with. Uh, with Medlock and Rempel and Dressler and the other holders and for him to, um, you know, learn from the best in the CFL, right? So, um, yeah, he's a, he's a real good kid and he's, he's, he's a good player.